Welcome to Financial Focus, brought to you by Gulf Coast Financial Services founder and CEO, John Kirkendall. John and his team of financial, legal, and tax professionals have been providing North Florida savers and investors sound, comprehensive financial guidance for over 30 years, helping you to achieve important life and planning goals. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and tune in for more Financial Focus by visiting gulfcoastfinancial.net. And welcome into Financial Focus, brought to you by Gulf Coast Financial Services founder and CEO, John Kirkendall. Gulf Coast Financial Services has been named best of the best in financial services eight years and running by the readers of the Lake City Reporter, celebrating their 30th year, serving savers and investors and proactive planners in North Central Florida. We always appreciate the time, the guidance and perspective of John Kirkendall here on the program. John, welcome back in. Thank you, Peter. Great to be here. I hope you had a good week. I am really excited about today's show. I think that, uh, you know, talking about what I believe in and where I came from uh, and really getting people out there to understand why we do what we do is really important. Well, I think that there are many aspects in planning that we have questions and concerns about and difficulties with that we want to get into in a series of upcoming episodes here, John. But before we get into the minutia and the details of those topics, I do think that savers and investors and proactive planners need to get a feel and a sense for who they are receiving advice from, the perspectives, the beliefs, the experience of the qualified, experienced advisor that they're working with. So if you don't mind, would you share a little bit about your background and what has brought to you to this point in your career uh, and how it has shaped the advice and guidance that you're providing to clients? Well, you know, I grew up in a modest home in Gainesville, Florida, and uh, was fortunate enough to get a scholarship to go to the University of Florida. And so when I graduated, um, one of the job offers that I had was to go to work for a bank in Tampa at the Exchange National Bank of Tampa as an agricultural loan officer, believe it or not. Um, and so for a couple of years, I made ag loans. And then I got promoted to a smaller bank in one of our regions and later, about a year later, became president of that bank and then president of two or three other banks while I was with Exchange Banks. I, that 20 years that I spent in banking, I think, gave me a really good background in lending, in in mortgage loans, car loans, all everything financial that banks do, I understood it and knew what we needed to do. And I think that was the kind of the, not the catalyst that took me over to want to be uh, a financial advisor. You know, back in the old days, you really had to have a lot of money to buy a, a stock. I mean, it wasn't uh, something that everyone did. And we didn't have access to all of the technology and also all the the investment advice that we have today. And so we were kind of, in that 20 years, I was kind of not really that active in wanting to invest, trying to invest, but, you know, given bad advice, taking advantage of a couple of times, uh, it led me to think that there's got to be a better way. And so in 1992, we started Gulf Coast Financial Services, celebrating our 30th year this year. Um, and through that transition, I wanted to be able to help everyday savers save money for retirement. And as I progressed in age, Peter, I saw all the mistakes that I did because we didn't have the advice, didn't have the technology uh, to make the Social Security decisions, the Medicare decisions. We didn't really do as a good a job as financial advisors because we weren't knowledgeable about making those kind of decisions for and helping our clients. And so I have kind of think that, you know, why I'm here and while I'm still doing this is I have a lot to offer um, in helping our people make sound financial decisions in retirement. Retirement isn't easy. It's not for whim I mean, whims. I mean, it's not an, an easy thing to do anymore. I mean, there's so many different decisions. So many things are complicated. And if you get the wrong advice or make the wrong decision, it will affect you for the rest of your life. John, are there any strongly held beliefs that you have that you feel guide the advice that you provide that differentiate your advice from that of other advisors? 
Well, I think that our strong Christian belief has helped us. As you know, we're, I'm a member of the Christian Financial Advisors Association. I'm also a kingdom advisor uh, with the Kingdom Advisor Group and also uh, Dave Ramsey, Smart Investor uh, Pro. So, uh, you know, I think our Christian belief, the belief that People try to do the right thing, but they're given a lot of wrong advice has led me to where I am today. And the fact that, you know, I didn't grow up with a lot of money. Um, it was uh, in, in our household. We always had what we needed, but we didn't we didn't always have what we wanted. And there's a difference between needs and wants. And so I hopefully in this society today where uh, wants sometimes become at go ahead of needs, uh, we can give people advice and help them uh, plan that retirement that everybody deserves and everybody needs. What are your motivations? What keeps you going? What do you aspire to professionally? Well, you know, the, the, I still work with my son and my grandson. That That's a blessing in itself. But it, it's giving that education, making sure that people understand um, the financial decisions that are in front of them and not making the same mistakes that I made, taking Social Security too early, not taking it soon enough, not knowing that there's a spousal, not knowing the different uh, ways that we can file for Social Security, Medicare planning. Um, you know, with so much hype on the TV today about choosing the getting 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 what you deserve that sometimes I think people get greedy and they make the wrong decisions. I want people to make their own mind up, but I want to give them all the advice and education that I can give them and then let them make their advice. Over the years, you know, we have met with people who had annuities, which thought they had life insurance. They had life insurance on an ex spouse and didn't realize it uh, they've tried to do the right things but a lot of times they've just been given wrong advice um, and they don't understand totally what they've done what are your licenses john and and what responsibilities do those licenses place on you on behalf of your clients and 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 how does your advice work what are the costs well, you know, the thing is, is Gulf Coast Financial Services is a registered investment advisor, and I have a Series 65 for that. And I think that's the, the biggest responsibility we have because that license requires us to be a fiduciary, which means we have to put the client's interest first over hours. So we have to disclose our fees. We have to disclose how we work, what we get, how we get paid. Um, and at the same time, we're never trying to sell something just to sell something. We're sitting down, talking to the client, advising them on what we feel like that they need based upon all of the products out there, not one particular brand or one particular type, but everything that's available to them, and then helping them make the decision on what they invest in. Uh, we also, I also have a Series 7, which is my stock license, um, and, uh, you know, my 63 which gives me the blue sky and being able to invest in it or be able to invest in any state and several other licenses. As far as the cost, it was a lot of time and energy. I can tell you that. It's not easy to get all those licenses. My father said one time when he was alive that he thought I had every license available to man except the Bales bondsman. And uh, I never aspired to that, really. I don't know why. But um, those licenses and our E and O insurance and all the things that we have to pay for are quite a bit of our uh, money goes out each year just in dues and requirements uh, to keep those licenses current. Continuing education every other year, different things that we have to do in order to stay active. We also have an I also have an insurance license, and there's certain requirements that have to be done every two years to keep that license active. And you believe that there is value and importance in working with an advisor. Costs are always one factor, but the value that we get for those costs is maybe more important to consider. Well, you know as well as I do that it's been proven that the people that work with advisors make more money in the stock market than are in the market than other people who work on their own. So I think the value that we bring is the ability to give sound advice to help them make decisions as far as what they're getting um, and to make, help them make more money. Because, you know, the way we work is the more they make, the more I get. So it's an, we have an incentive for them to do well. Ours is a fee based on assets, 
And the more assets that we have under management, the more money we make. So I, uh, I like my clients to make money. It, it helps me quite a bit. Well, we will be talking about a number of different topics in the coming weeks and episodes of Financial Focus. We will discuss inflation, longevity, the market, risk, sequence of returns, taxes, Social Security, and having that written retirement income plan. John, just to hit on an overview of a few of these, all important topics, obviously. Why do we need to consider all of these as we are formulating our our planning? Well, because Peter, each and every one is an integral part of an income plan. Over our retirement years, which in some cases are 30 plus years, we're going to have inflation. We're going to have increased taxes. We know taxes will be going up. We're going to see a down market. How are we going to respond and how are we going to live sequence of returns uh, if we take all of our money out in a down market? So there are certain things that we have to adapt to. There are certain things that we have to be aware of. Each one of those components that you talked about are an integral part of putting together a retirement package that will enable you to have the kind of retirement that you want and the kind of retirement you need over your lifetime. It's going to take a lot more money to retire. I know that the conversation with financial advisors begin at different times. There's different reasons. There's different events that give us the the perspective that we may need to seek the help and the guidance of a qualified, experienced professional. Where do you find that most people are beginning this journey uh, in their financial progress? Well, unfortunately, a lot of people start too late because of procrastination. I mean, they they wait until they're ready to retire and then they want to come in and get an income plan. That's really too late. We would like to start them as soon as they're gainfully employed and help them get go through that life experience uh, and be there for them to help them um, with advice on loans, home loans, car loans, whatever. We want to make sure that everything they're doing is, is, is good for them. So the sooner we get started, Peter, I think the better because we, we become regular savers. We, we, we've got hopefully a 401k match at work. We're maxing out, maximizing that. Um, and we're, we're making decisions that are going to help them get ready for retirement. There's really no bad time. The worst thing you can do is to retire without that plan because we're really, I, I, I can't stress this enough, over your retirement lifetime, you're going to need more money to live than you think you are. And things aren't getting cheaper. I mean, I, you know, I know in my lifetime, I've gone from a 25 cent hamburger to a three or four dollar hamburger, and it's going higher all the time. I'm amazed constantly at how much it costs to eat out. I mean, a family of four could spend 60 bucks at a fast food restaurant. That's a lot of money to be spending eating out uh, when wages aren't really going up that much. So anytime's a good time. We The sooner the better. Uh, but we really think any time that you sit down with a financial advisor and get that income plan is a good time for you. But the sooner I like to work with people at any age, uh, and we do. John, given modern economic conditions and the current challenges that we face, are there any signs that you look for that indicate to you that somebody does have a pretty solid financial and retirement plan or grasp on planning? Well, I mean, Peter, if we look at their assets and what they've saved and how they've saved, um, you know, so many people, I, I met with an individual the other day who, um, it was too late. They had already retired. They took their money out of their retirement account because they wanted to the cash. They ended up taking, um, you know, over $100,000 in taxes. And then because they were in a different tax bracket, we ended up having to put aside another 50 plus thousand for for taxes based on what the income they already had. So, you know, the thing is, is that people need to do what they need to get the advice before they retire, certainly not wait. But if I look forward, inflation, taxes, 
Um, and, a, and a fluctuating market is going to be something we're going to be living with for the next 30 years. And the sooner we get started, the better. All those things, taxes especially, because the government's going to change. Um, they're going to require us to pay more. We're seeing a sunset in 2027 of the current tax uh, tax laws. So, you know, there's just an opportunity there to get ahead of all this uh, and start planning now. Getting to know someone takes time, John, and in the financial world, an advisor really needs to know their client in order to make sound recommendations. A client needs to know their advisor to trust and rely on that advice being in their best interest. How do you help to facilitate and formulate that relationship and that understanding? Well, you know, at Gulf Coast, what we do is we have a lot of educational events for our clients and also for the uh, people that would like to work with us. So we try to put on educational seminars. We call them lunch and learns. Uh, we do our video um, recordings. Uh, we have a coffee talk we do every periodically to let people know what's going on. Uh, we also do customer appreciation uh, events. We do seminars. So what we try to do is it through education and then through sit down meetings with them um, as we tell them that, you know, I, any life event that they're going through, anything that's going to happen to them, I would like to know it before it happens than after it happens. So if they're going to sell their house and buy a new house, I'd like to talk to them. If they're going through a divorce, I'd like to know it. Um, there are a lot of ways that we can help them, but we have to be involved. And you're right, Peter. We've had some clients who have been with us for over 20 years, and and they're like family. I mean, you know, we know them. We knew the spouses who are either alive or are dead now. We know their history. We know what church they go to. They're just really part of the family. Uh, we send them birthday gifts. Uh, we really want to appreciate and acknowledge them. And we try to do that with all of our clients. But and, and you know, we're seeing kids now that are graduating and going away to, to uh, college who have been coming to our events for with their we have a cr annual Christmas party. And a lot of them have been coming for 10 years, 15 years. So it's amazing to see these kids grow up and, and go off to college. Yeah, I was going to mention your 30 years serving savers and investors there, Gulf Coast Financial Services, more than 30 years helping proactive planners to formulate those plans, achieve their goals. So it's not like you're new to the block, nor hard to get to know because you do offer the educational resources, plus the opportunity for a complimentary review strategy session and consultation. Yeah, we we really try uh, to become a part of our family, our customers' lives. We want to be there. We want to educate them. We want to help them. And we do that for the public, too, whether they're clients or not. We invite everyone to our seminars, everyone to our lunch and learns. Uh, we're very active in the United Way. We try to give back to the community. Uh, we go to all the events in town, uh, the Rotary Club, all the stuff that we're involved in. We try to give back. You can't give back uh, more than you get. I, there's no way. And so, you know, God blesses us every day. The more we do, the more I get. Uh, it's wonderful. I've been blessed with a great life. Uh, I've been great, uh, blessed with, uh, with a, a good amount of uh, money. God's blessed me. I mean, he really has. And what we want to do is make it a mission to help everyone that we can help, whether they're in the, you know, I can only put up 50 bucks a month. I can't put up anything now, but I can put it in a savings account and bring it to you later. There's no amount of money that's too small for us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you do have a resource there. Experienced, qualified professionals, the team at Gulf Coast Financial Services, three generations under one roof, and a fantastic support staff. Give them a call if you'd like to get to know them a little more and receive that complimentary review and retirement planning strategy session. The Financial Focus Written Retirement Income Plan, the proprietary plan that you can only receive there at Gulf Coast Financial Services. 386 755 2018, the number to call that is 386 755 9018. 386 755 9018. You can also visit online golfcoastfinancial.net. That's golfcoastfinancial.net. We'll continue our discussion. We'll talk and tackle many financial issues, 
and difficulties, challenges, inflation, longevity, the market, and sequence of returns, taxes, Social Security and Medicare, family risk, policy risk, governmental, legislative risk, health risk, and in, uh, in fact, as always, closing out with the most important, having the written retirement income plan that can help you to address all of those issues and more. John, trying to provide your clients there at Gulf Coast Financial Services the highest level of confidence possible to enjoy retirement rather than worry about the market and their money. That's right. That's what we're here for, Peter. Well, it's always a pleasure. Look forward to uh, more conversations coming up soon, and we will cover a number of them in the coming weeks. So ladies and gentlemen, you have your resources there at Gulf Coast Financial Services, the podcast archive always available if you want to find a topic that you have questions about. We've probably discussed it, and you can find it there on the blog and the podcast archive page at gulfcoastfinancialservices.net. If you'd like to have an individual discussion and receive individual guidance, pick up the phone and give a call. Start that conversation with John Kirkendall and the team at Gulf Coast Financial Services, 386-755-9018. That's 386-755-9018. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and tune in for more financial focus by visiting GulfCoastFinancial.net. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only, without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for a particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature and not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment in securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Early withdrawals may subject the owner to penalties, fees, or taxes. John Kirkendall is registered with and securities are offered through Kovac Securities, Inc., member FINRA SIPC, found online at www.kovacsecurities.com. Advisory services are offered through Gulf Coast Financial Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor in Florida. Gulf Coast Financial Services, Inc. is not affiliated with with Kovac Securities, Inc. or Kovac Advisors, Inc. Past performance is not indicative of future results. All investing involves risk. Investment decisions should be based on your own goals, time horizon, and tolerance for risk. Due to various factors, including changing market conditions and or applicable laws, the content may no longer be reflective of current opinions or positions.